For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. It's the Mad Money Shot. Sniff at the Man. She's as always got a new defense for you guys today. It's going to be going over a blitz that I've been having a lot of success with. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a blitz game uh, as well as a defense that uh, really can just be one of the better pass defenses if you're using a 4-3 playbook. Other than that, as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, more defensive videos, hit the like button let me know in the comment section. The playbook I'm in today is the Buffalo Bills, but really any playbook that's a 4-3 playbook should have this formation. I'm going to be using the Dime Normal. Uh, sometimes is called the dime rush formation any dime formation uh, essentially in a 4-3 playbook should have this particular play the play itself that i've been using and having a lot of success with been having a lot of again a lot of sacks a lot of turnovers with uh when i've been using online is the dime blitz too now this is a very simple defense now if i were to do a full scheme out of this and this is not what i'm going to do today so if you guys would like to see that you know let me know in the comment section and i could do that at a later date but the four play setup that i would have for this would be the cover three cloud would be one of my favorite pass defenses the cover four Palms uh, would probably be the best run defense. Uh, the Dime Blitz 2 would be in here. And then the double or the three double sky would probably be my last play. I'll probably go over these last two defenses right Woo! here in this video. But like I said, if you want to see a full breakdown of full scheme, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. You want to also make sure that your fastest uh, cornerback is in the blitzing spot. On this team, they don't have a lot of speed of cornerback. So the fastest one is Tredavious White. He's only a 91 speed. So hopefully that's fast enough to get this blitz through. Other than that, let's go and let's pick that play on offense. We're just going to go uh, with random gun. Now, one of the first things about this particular play is you want to make sure that you always have this blitzing cornerback coming off the opposite side of the running back. If it's a play action, you want to make sure that this, um, you know, if th this blitz angle a lot of times will make sure that the cornerback, that the, the running back, if he is on a play action, or even if he's not, even if he's just pass blocking, a lot of times you won't be able to rotate over quick enough to pick up this cornerback. So that's something that's going to be important. Other than that, there's not a lot of blitz set up. The only other thing that I really have to do is blitz my user and make sure that he comes down in this gap. Uh, over the, uh, the guard and the tackle because my job is going to be try to pull the offensive line in this direction uh, from the look of having five different um, blitzers. So basically, I'm going to do that and I'm going to guess pass. Guessing pass is really just to make sure that he goes after the running or after the quarterback and not the running back if it's a play action once again. Uh, and it'll just basically kick the pass rush up a notch. So this is pretty much it. I always want to make sure that I'm leaving this guy here uh, to be basically my pass coverage on my blind side because I'm going to drop back on 85 once this play starts. That's pretty much how the play is going to, going to go. So I'm going to basically come down here. Once the play starts, I'm going to back up. You can see 85. The blitzing cornerback does get in, although he does get the pass out for a couple of quick yards there. I'm gonna go and watch the replay because I really didn't see what happened. It did look like the running back went out on a route, but you can see how this blitzing cornerback just comes off the edge uh, untouched. And we have a offensive lineman basically blocking nobody, uh, which is gonna be the goal most of the time. Now you can get uh, pressure off of the running back side if they're in a play action. So we'll go ahead and run a few times like that just to see if um, you know if we could get any any heat that way. As you can see right here, the running back can't turn around and we're instantly in his ear. I wanted to do that because I really wanted to make sure that I actually had my fastest cornerback doing that. That's my biggest concern about this blitz is I'm not sure if I have enough speed at the opposite cornerback. So you can sometimes get pressure if either the running back is on a, on a pass pattern or if he's uh, on a play action. A lot of times you can see right here, nothing really gets out to pick this cornerback. He gets in instantly and he's basically in the quarterback's ear before the running back can even turn around and pick up the blitz, even though he's coming off of his side. So speed's the most important thing, uh, more, more important than what side of the defense the quarterback's coming off of. But ultimately it's always best, in my opinion, to have him coming off of the opposite side of the running back. So I guess it really doesn't matter what side the blitzing cornerback's coming from. And I guess it doesn't really matter what the depth is either. As you can see, like the closer he is to the line of scrimmage, I think the better the cornerback blitz uh, comes off the edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it one more time. Like I said, I find it's best to go opposite the running back here. And then you can see a slower cornerback does eventually get around it. I'm not sure how fast that cornerback is. But you can see in the replay, even having him close to the line like this, he's still like that's just a wide looping angle that I really don't want. But like I said, I don't really have, you know, the cornerback speed on here is just really not that great. So I think that's part of the reason they take such a wide angle. And we still have 60 bouncing back and forth here, blocking nobody on this play, uh, which is ultimately, like I said, that's the goal every single time. So we ran that three times, and I saw a check and release on one, a play action on another, 
and a, a the running back on a route on another. So none of them actually had the running back just staying home to block. So let's go ahead and let's do that with the under Y option. Now, if I have a, uh, a blocking running back and I still want to get pressure, I just have to basically switch up my user. I have to blitz this uh, you know linebacker that I've been using, and then I basically have to come over here and use this defensive end. I'll come in a little bit as well, um, just to give myself a little bit of short distance because I do have to come across to 85 here. But this is pretty much going to be the play. Guessing pass once again, and then drop dropping back into coverage uh, with this particular guy, although I don't want to be in too close because I, I still want to kind of spread this defensive line out. And then you can see here, we're going to still gonna get pressure from multiple guys. So we're still sending the same five defenders, only now, um, you know, we're getting uh, a pressure in a slightly different way. So we have three defensive linemen, a cornerback, and a linebacker. And like I said, that's going to basically flood this area where the running back doesn't know who to pick up because multiple guys are coming in. And you can see by the time the play ends, there's multiple defensive players around the quarterback. So to recap, there's multiple ways to get pressure with this particular play. Uh, it's also a very good pass defense, though. One of the things that I didn't really go over is um, the soft squats on this play make this a really effective uh, coverage, which even if I don't um, you know, go the full route of setting up this blitz and everything. Uh, the soft squats, people don't know, the thing about soft squats is they man match the same way cover three match does, the same way cover four quarters does. Um, if it's just like a straight streak, which can give a lot of cover twos problems or a, like a fade, which goes around the cornerbacks a lot of times, the soft squats will turn to man coverage and basically follow them back the entire way, which is really helpful. Some of my favorite cover twos in this game are soft squats. If I can, I can choose soft squats out of nowhere, I typically will over other cover twos. Make this is a very good pass defense. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more defensive videos like this, or you want to see a full breakdown of this particular defense, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help, or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.